Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where today we are going to go help out Miranda. Enoch. Enoch is the city that was taken into the sky. One of the cooler Bible stories, I think. I'm pretty sure. Enoch was the name of the city, but also the name of like the patriarch, I think. Cool stuff. That was that's a cool one, right? Just like there's like a city like floating around. Apparently, that's all like heavenly and glorified. But it's cool that like a whole city just went boop and is like floating around somewhere. <laughs> that's an oversimplified version of it, I know. But I like I like that one. It's a good one. Uh, <laughs> you know. But at least we don't have this little flag anymore. I can freaking help this crashing ship and then. And I wouldn't have to worry about it. But that, that little flag could destroy the blood pack base. I wouldn't have to worry about that little flag. Uh, where we we want to go to Omega Nebula? Is it is over here? This is a Hawking one. Where's is it? Is it there? I <laughs> uh, can't tell. No, I don't want to go to Omega. I want to go to Alien. Why am I going over there? Here we are. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, that will get rid- oh, no, the Ilium thing will still be sticking out. Miranda's the only one we got a help left on the... on that. Let's poke this planet. Pretty. Tail is a- tile? Tail is a typical hydrogen healing gas giant. Its complex system is really unstable. Dating only- back only a few million years. They are thought to be the remains- shadow remains of a comet. Okay, I just did a little bit of mining. I, I like seeing the 100% on the little flags. That's a cool one. I'm on the classical hot house world like Venus, Beragale is scarcely more hospitable in addition to being the closest to the star Tessele. Tessele. Oh, I can, can I? I can, I can control it spinning. I didn't realize that it's the other joystick. Increase the heat of planets and trash, volcanism. Crust is too rigid for the tonus function. The planet will go through cycles in which pressure builds to massive supervolcanic eruption. The spew ejecta over thousands of kilometers leave Caldera a hundred kilometers across and spew to supervolcanic dark continents. Yeah, that's like a uh, freaking Yellowstone. Yellowstone is supposed to explode and basically take out the entire western half of the United States, except for, like, California and Oregon and Washington. <laughs> uh, everything else is screwed. Okay, got that one done. Ponolus, a fairly typical Venusian hothouse. Ponolus, it seems almost tame compared to the violent volcanic outburst of the inner world. Baragale. Who named these planets? Uh, Ponolus is nearly a nerd with no active volcanoes. The most dramatic event in the last million years was the, founder, was the foundering. The floundering? Or the. I get foundering worse too. Of, Asari, of the Asari Aerostat research platform Alvusic in 2092, which fell after being holed by an improbably lucky, unlucky meteor. Most of the crew. Successfully reached the ship capital, but six were lost. The crust wreck of the platform now lies in the Curiosite plane in the northern hemisphere. Holy crap, we're getting tons of palladium in this system. Launched. Depleted! Mining is actually really calming. I like think they had the, like, the really nice music going. I'm like, boop -a doop. I'm pretty sure we don't find things. In these asteroid belts. Look at the Normandy <laughs> dodging all these asteroids. It's like the free game Millennium Falcon. <laughs> it's late. I'm tired. I fell asleep on the drive. Like, not while I was driving, but when I was in the vehicle with my co workers, I fell asleep with my mouth open. I was like, Bleh. it was great. Very professional. Uh, we want to go to Ilium. That's what we came here for. Land. Been to Ilium so many times. 
You know what really kind of irks me now that I play Dragon Age a lot is that your Mass Effect companions don't speak in the field anymore in Mass Effect 2. Like, at least in Mass Effect 1, they talked in the elevators, and it gave you a reason to not just fast travel everywhere. Like, it was an incentive, you know, to not fast travel everywhere, which was nice, because then you, like, kind of kind of feel out where everything was. In Mass Effect 2, the Citadel, like, the little sections were allowed in. Like, I, have, I, have, I feel no sense of continuity in them. Because I don't ever walk the There's no point to doing the stairs. I'm, it's just faster to travel. Okay. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, yeah. We'll do the yellowish one. Oh, maybe we should bring... No, we can't bring Jacob. Like, if we had party banter, I'd totally be bringing Jacob and Miranda. But, but I also know that Miranda also likes Morden. So, like, respects him. You know? So... Her Cerberus officer abilities are bad A. Miranda's coordination of the fire team gives an increased bonus to squad weapon damage. Uh, gives you a bonus to squad health. Okay, 20 health, 25, 15, 7.5. Okay, so okay, so basically the only so everybody gets or is this her her health? Yeah, her health and her weapons damage are the same. But you either get squad health or squad weapon damage. Oh, God. If it was recharge time, I'd choose that. But it's so much more difficult with health. I mean, health just goes so quick, you know? But does weapon damage really make that much of a difference? You know? But leadership tactics leave no one behind giving an increased bonus to squad health let's do this one and we could do warp or overload ooh greatly increase the explosion radius of overload that would be nice mm -hmm -hmm. yeah let's do that actually So that they explode on death, in quotes. Area overload. I'm like, overlord, bro. Sweet. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Haven't taken more than that in ages. So there Further increases brain strength of his shields! So they have ballistics, physics, and shock trauma increases. That would not increase your weapon damage! Oh, Solarian, genius, or savant. Basically the same thing. Yeah, freaking. Get, get those shields up, buddy. Heavy incinerator. Oh, maybe we should uh, incinerate works on armor, but not shields. Shoot, man. Let's do. Oh, this one's hard. When I was an engineer, I had something like heavy incinerate, and it was great. But this, I think we can always rewrite his points. We'll do the area one. We'll do the area one and see how it goes. Oh, wait, I want to change my shotgun and see if I can manage the trick. Eviscerated. How long have I had that? That's a new one. Where did we that? Oh, oh, this was oh, this was part of a DLC. That's right, that's right, that's right. The Lieber Shaft. Twenty-one shotgun herbicide is of human civilian design. Human civilian has a unique ammunition generator. Where most modern firearms shave off clips or pellets from ammunition block, the M22 shaves off serrated metal wedges designed to fly aerodynamically. 
This dramatically improves armor piercing capabilities as tight gripping helps wound ballistics wound. <laughs> ballistics a longer ranges than standard shotgun. Oh! This design also violates several intergalactic weapons treaties, so the M22 is not distributed to militaries, so the militaries don't get it, but everybody else, like the mercenaries, get it. I'm a practically a mercenary. Yeah, you, the art projector is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna fight? Oh man, I don't know. Do I wanna use the. Yeah, I'm gonna keep using the art projector. Uh, let's see. Uh. Okay, Miranda has the. Look it! Morden has the. Look it! Oh boy, you both have SMGs and hand cannon pistols. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's go! Wow, Morton is tall. Is, is he tall or was he just like floating? No, oh, he's taller than me. Morton, that's not allowed. Sorry, I was like really close to the mic. I was like leaning forward. Concierge. Hi, baby. Oh, boy. That freaking Ilium never shuts up. Of course it is. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Hey, that, coming from a very high-ranking Cerberus agent, is great. She's very different from Ashley. No, She's don't. sort of... I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it... Pardon me, I'm on a call. I think she's somebody that I can find something for. Oh! Feelings around us are unfamiliar. Reminders of old fertility contract negotiations. How can you short Oh, freaking! Everyone, or the the general. The general feeling or whatever on the Solarians that they don't have hormones. Like, they don't have hormones, but they don't have hormones like humans and Asari and Turians do. But they do have them under the certain circumstances. You can, uh... You can, uh... Turn them on to... Mostly, I think it's mostly with Asari. I don't think there's anybody else. But the Asari are like... They're attractive to every species, <clears throat> which is interesting. I don't know. That still sounds like an. I don't know. Where am I going? I want fit. I can't get fish here, can I? I don't think I can. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Damage protection? What? How long is this? This has not been here. Give me that. No, I don't want that. I don't care. What about a fish? I love you. She loves the garden. Oh, we could add a Oh, hi, little shadow. Oh, you need the shadow. Sure, we'll buy some paddlefish. I bought everything. That lady doesn't need to come back. I bought things. How exciting. I bought all the star maps over there. I was there. Oh, can I talk to you again? Still can't believe you have a just a car in your service. <laughs> Still you get the star charm. Still can't believe. I like that name, Irinya. Sometimes you say these things. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because you had a Batarian father. Blood. Well, that she kind of brought it on herself by bringing up parentage. What? Oh, that was uh, about the bullets. I think they got arrested. Where are we going, Miranda? We're going to the bar, but I can never find it. Hey, is Liara still real? I she wouldn't, would she? Nope, but I can still use her terminal. Weird. I can't believe how lovely your scalp looks. Your scalp. 
Oh, is it over here? I think it is. But let me drag it in. If this is the best you have, I'll make Bypass you. Bypass module, we take But you're them. certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both mics? Hey, you know what? The guy's got his priorities, you know? Like, it's good. It's whatever. You can tease him, but it's gotta be difficult being one of the only... The only suited speed... Nope. Ta -ta nah. uh, Corians. Corians and Volus have to be suited. For different reasons. Oh, I didn't realize it was like, I don't think it's actually open with this guy, but that looks cool. Um, uh, bartender! I need to talk to you! Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just cleaned the bar. <laughs> What's it like being a <laughs> Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Pleasure is always. Thanks for telling me about that. I want to talk about your kid. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who respects somebody you. you. Lantea. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. Uh oh. He didn't mention anything about Niquette. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niquette are the only two I trust on this. Just me too! Wee! What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. This Asari is super professional, too. Like, just like the mannerism and the way she addresses uh, Miranda. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down <laughs> by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard's Shepard. like, oh no. <laughs> I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Shepard's like, haha, one woman army here is me. Take a, I've destroyed Eclipse bands before, several of them. Is this Eclipse one? I think it is all Asari again because we're on Ilium. Sometimes. It's usually a mixture of uh, Asari and Slay and sometimes humans. Blood Pack is usually Krogan and Baron and... But not Batarian, I don't even think. Boop, boop. I'm trying to think the word though. Borcha. And Blue Sons could be just about anybody. I don't think there's a whole lot of Salarians in the Blue Sons though. Yeah, we're good. I fixed everybody out before we got out of here. Damn it. Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. They can fly gunships in Ilium, like, city space? Like, that's a bit odd. Why don't they just shoot- oh, they can't shoot us down because they gotta take us alive. Put us down in that cover behind them. Oh, Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Miranda knows. She's got this. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! Yeah, this car had no shields. I got this. Yeah, big man with your... Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. 
Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. Well, that's cool. Just blow everything. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. This guy might think he's doing the right thing, too. You know, at least maybe that kind of... Like, maybe he doesn't really care, but he's like, Hey, for once, I'm doing the right thing, you know, helping. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite Hey, he's as a human in Eclipse. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things... <laughs> I've never done that before! I've never done it! I'm like, maybe I should go back because I don't think my shepherd didn't do that last time, but it was so cool! And it's like, you know what? After we just did Jacob's mission, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't taking any of that crap, you know? It's like, no. Shepard's like, you gotta tell me some things. Hey! 
Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. Morden's like, I don't know how... To, I, I understand all of this theoretically, but... <laughs> Okay, I, it may, like, because you could say, it's like, well, maybe he be, maybe Miranda's just, like, a little bit sensitive about it, and, but I think she legitimately did make the right decision. Her dad does not sound like a nice dude by any means, but I think Shepard, and Shepard does bring up a good point. It's like, you stole her from her father, but she's like, he wasn't a father. He just, like, and the fact that he, like, made others but didn't keep others, like, that's a little bit terrifying. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving I like this shot of Shepard. It makes your eyes glow. a lot glow. of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go find Niket and Oriana. I like right. that name, Niket. I think I brought Morden with me last time because I have, I, have, I have vague recollections of like Morden just standing in the background. Like, I have no idea what's going on. Ah! Wait, where are we? Okay. Alright, I'm going to call this one here. Um, but right in the middle of the action. So we'll get back to it in the next one. But thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next one.